What's up guys? It's a beautiful day here in Hendersonville, Tennessee. I'm at Maple Motors and I'm getting ready to test drive this 1966 Dodge Cornette. This is the four-door model, but man, this thing is nice. 318, cold AC, power steering, aftermarket set of wheels, tinted windows. It sounds great. She's got a nice shot. And of course, I'm here to pick out the flaws. You can see all the good stuff. I'll show you the bad. Detailed pictures, financing, and shipping at maplemotors.com. Be sure to go there, hit subscribe, check out our merchandise. You can click the links uh, right below or go to our main website and get pre-approved with our financing and shipping. All right, about that time. Let's go for a ride. So before we leave the line, we'll look around the interior and place those bets. Do you think the horn works? This is a very nice car. Uh, it's got a booklet full of repairs and stuff that have been done. You can flip pages and, and see invoices and receipts. That's all going to be listed on uh, maplemotors.com under the detailed pictures. Somebody added a little AutoZone cup holder, which is fine. I add those to my cars every once in a while when I need, need be. There's the mileage. The dash. The interior is super nice. Cannot complain. Package tray looks good. Headliner on this one looks good. Starts up just like so. Cold air, just beautiful. It's super nice. Radio jamming. I mean, this is looking pretty good for the horn, but when he gas, I can see that. Engine temperature. I've had it running for a minute. It should be coming up a little bit more now. Of course, this car just they stay pretty cool. There goes the wipers. Did I cut them off correct? Yes, I did. Turn signals. Left. It even says left. Right. It even says right. <laughs> Not much I can complain about on this one. Do you think the horn works? Place those bets. <laughs> It works good too. All right, guys, there's the pedals. Let's hit the road and see how she runs and drives. Here we go, guys, getting ready to head up to the gas station. I'm going to put $20 with the premium fuel in this ride, and as we were sitting here, the gas gauge came up to a quarter tank. That's fine. I'm still going to add a little bit of fuel. Engine temperature is a little bit past the quarter mark, too, so it is actually working. A little bit of a uh, belt squeal up there. And I hear when I rev the motor, try reverse. Neutral drive. I was watching a guy test drive a Camaro the other day. It was on Facebook or something. And he was just jamming gears. It was actually in the floor, but he was jamming gears. It was wild. <laughs> he was trying to sell it too. I was tripping out. Y'all may have seen it. Here we go. Speedo is coming up. That belt's squeaky. Pretty straight going down the road. Steering on this one's real tight. That's a good thing. Seems to be pretty accurate on that Speedo. Let's get over a little bit. Getting into the throttle now. Kick down is hooked up. This is no powerhouse. Like I said, 318. Good cruising car. Brakes, no great. Nothing wrong with the brakes there. Back in the throttle. Of course, it kicks down and we're cruising. Just letting you know, I was getting in it there. It's no powerhouse, it's a cruiser. We'll go ahead and pull in here and get some fuel. Turn signal's loud in here, it sounds good. Suspension felt good going over the curb there. Honestly, I don't know on the gas cap. It's in the back. It's on the side here. It's on the side here. It's a good gas. Go ahead and 
back up here. Guys, again, $20 with the premium fuel and I'll be right back. So, I got like $19 in here and then I noticed it clicked. Gas tank is full. You can actually see it down in here, so I don't know how accurate. Let's see if y'all can see that. Probably not. But I can. I'm going to say the gauge is off a little bit. It's reading. I don't know how close it is. Let's see if it goes all the way up here. There's no way five gallons filled it up from a quarter tank, though. And that gauge does take forever to come up. Look at it. Slowly rising. Let's go. Guys, I will update you on that. It is taking forever. Let's go ahead and take off. It's showing more already. It's past the half mark. wonder if it's full at a half tank. <laughs> Maybe. Of course on the gauges here it's reading full now i assume once you get to a quarter tank you probably still have half a tank at least you'll never run out Get y'all set up on the wide screen. I was kind of reading over some of this stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, it's basically the second owner of Colorado Springs, January 15, 2009 to December of 17. And he owned it to 100,000 miles. This thing's sitting right at 116,000 miles now. But I mean, it has everything, 100% rebuilt engine, just like 100% rebuilt front suspension. There's so much stuff that's been done to this car. It's pretty cool. And it's nice to have this information and dated information. Cool. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. I've already walked around the car. It's actually in pretty good shape. Did have some chips on the paint job. That's your main issue is just chips. That's not bad. And y'all are still in good position on the head cam here.
Here we go, we're gonna head on back to the lot now. I'm gonna angle you down just a hair. There we go. Open road. I don't really need the AC today. I'm gonna cut it off. Good thing about this one, they were driving it, they did put miles on it. I don't know why this guy is trying to go so slow, but there's nobody behind me, so I'm gonna go ahead and just stop in the middle of the road. <laughs> You're back in the throttle now. Quiet as can be. I'm not hearing any odd shakes or rattles. It seems to be shifting out. Again, the motor's no powerhouse. I mean, you get in a throttle, it shifts down, revs up, pulls pretty good. And the brakes, they're not bad. They're nice and smooth. Yeah, just don't even look. People cannot drive today. Bumping the road. <laughs> Did you hear the horn? A little sensitive there. I wonder if that's why a lot of times people unhook them. Just because they're so sensitive. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pull back in the lot here. That guy's amazed. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed this test drive. If you did, please hit subscribe, share this video. There's detailed pictures on this car at maplemotors.com. There's finance and shipping, all that good stuff. All right, let's walk this ride. I'm looking for chips, scratches, rust dents. Anything that I find, you'll know about it up here in the front. A little hazy on the front bumper, but it's still in good shape. Got some touch-up marks here on top. Not exactly the same color. Same with this side in the corner. Touch-up marks. Over here as well. And down the side. Little scuffs there. Marks here. And they're touched up. bottom of the door here you got some little chips here little rust bubbles popping up Chips back here as well. Touch up marks. Paint run here in the middle of the door. It's really hard to see. Another paint run right here. If it'll pop up, that'd be awesome. I know uh, 
Sometimes in the videos they don't pop up well. I'm trying to zoom in on stuff though. A lot of touch-up marks here on top of the fender. This yellow is what it is. It's blending things, hiding some of the chips. Little chips here on the front windshield. Trim looks good around the windows. Door handle's in good shape. Chips up here. On the edge there. Back window on this one. Pretty clean. Trim looks good. Let's look over the roof. Seal looks good in the trunk. The jam looks clean. Let's look under this. Oh, very nice. We got it bolted down. There's a towel down there and a spare tire. Old service manual. package tray looks awesome this mat looks new jack the edges of the trunk lid now coming on down with the trunk lid marks Little chips there. The horn just honked. <laughs> Got a sensitive horn up there. No? Figured I'd slap the trunk, see if it honked again. Touch up mark here on the back. top here coming down this side mark there that's coming off that's from the armor all I assume little spot there in the corner in the bottom here chips on the edge of the door Spot there. Little spot here on the fender. Looks like it's been fixed at one time. Chip. Chip, chip. Touch up marks. Spots of paint. Vacuum midsection. Little chips there. Up here in the corner, too. Spots up here.
strong gas cap door there. Thin line there. Chip, touch up mark. Touch ups here. There's a bunch of little touch up marks on this car. Paint looks a little thin. Your back window, good shape. Little bubble there. Touch up marks here and there. A little line there on top. Small little chips on the front windshield. Mirrors look good. <laughs> Over the roof now. Guys, we made it around the outside. Let's go ahead and open her up and check out that interior. Door panel is beautiful on this one. It does have a couple little spots in the corner here. A little chip there. Chips over here in the jam. Package tray looks good. Headliner is nice and clean. Starts up easy. Door panels are all nice. Seat looks good. Interior wise, this thing's slick. Paint-wise, it had a lot of little touch-up marks and chips. It's an older paint job, so. Wait a second. I'm gonna do it softly. A little hard. <laughs> it's sensitive. The horn is. It doesn't honk when I'm driving down the road, though. I feel like that's why most people unhook them. <laughs> Bugs up here, chips, touch up marks all around the front end here. I'm pointing at them for you. I know my shadow's in the way. Maybe I can just cover it all up with my shadow so you can see it better. It's a lot of little touch up marks. In the 
middle. I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit subscribe and share. Detailed fixtures, finance, and shipping is available at maplemotors.com. If you want some t-shirts, pick up some t-shirts from us, please do so. Uh, first link in the description and also on maplemotors.com. I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.